What's up, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Instagram Live, and we're here with another Jimmy Rants episode. I want to get right to it here today, you guys. Head on over to JimmyRants.com if you want to learn more about this new show that I'm doing twice a day. We're doing Instagram Live videos, and uh, and then you know they're up there 24 hours after you do an Instagram Live. Uh, and then we're putting them up on YouTube at JimmyRants.com. And we have a brand new podcast that will be incorporating the best of the best moments from all these Jimmy Rants episodes. So today's topic, you guys, that I'm going to rant about. So get ready. Hold on to your hats. This one has been on my heart and mind for a very long time. And I see it again and again on social media. Anytime you start talking about whatever diet plan, whatever choices you are making in your uh, nutritional health routine, you're going to have people that are going to say you're doing it all wrong. You're going to have people that say, well, that's all well and good, but you need to be doing X. Uh, or, oh, well, that didn't work for me, so I can't imagine how that would possibly work for you. Uh, you just have all of these kind of negative nannies that like to hear themselves talk, as I like to say. Uh, and it's frustrating because you're merely sharing your experience, and yet everybody and their mama is trying to tear down that positive experience that you've seen in your health. So today's rant is find the diet that works for you and then mind your own business. Because I'm seeing far too many people getting discouraged when they do something that they know is working for their body. It's given them great health markers. Perhaps they're losing weight. Perhaps they're seeing uh, higher energy levels. Maybe they're getting great mental clarity. Maybe they're getting all of these really, really, really good benefits. And they're posting about it online, either on some Facebook page or here on Instagram. Uh you know, and, and putting out videos maybe on YouTube. They're doing things to share about their experience. And then next thing you know, uh, Jane XYZ or John ABC pops on there and says, well, that's about the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Why would anybody do that? Who are you? You're not a doctor. You're not a nutritionist. How can you talk about these things being in a positive way? Those things don't work and you know better. You, you should know better. Mind your own business. I mean, seriously. If somebody is doing something good and proactive and positive towards ga gaining health, why are we discouraging those people from making those better choices? You know, I think back to 410 pound Jimmy Moore quite a bit because I always think about what would that guy think about what's going on in the nutritional health world today. And had I started at 410 pounds and on three prescription medications and I'd seen, I would watch all of this stuff happening online, would I be attracted to the nutritional health community or would I just be repulsed so much that I go, well, screw that. I'm just gonna do what I wanna do because those people don't look happy. Those people look like they bicker a lot. Those people, they're not going to help me. And I think what people that are new to this way of eating, uh, of eating healthier, regardless of what you choose to do, I happen to do keto, but other people do other modalities that work for them. And don't you want to make it attractive to people that may not even care a bit in the world about their health and about their diet choices? That was me at one time. And thankfully, I got out of that and I found a a support system that, that gave me that encouragement all along the way um, until I became the success and until the mindset changed. But in that interim period when that mindset, uh, mindset wasn't quite changed yet, had somebody popped on uh, and, and said something to me in a negative way, which I did have a few of those things, um, when I first started on the Atkins diet in 2004, a few people were like, oh, well, you, all that meat's going to kill you. That saturated fat's going to clog your arteries. Um, you know, the calories in there, you're eating way too many calories. Even though I was losing weight and all my health markers were getting good and I was coming off of prescription medications and I was energetic and I wasn't hungry and all these 
positive signs were happening, the only thing they could think of to tell me was that I was harming myself in some way. Find the diet that works for you, but then mind your own business. I, I'm just amazed. And it seems like it's gotten even worse um, just in the past few years. And especially with keto, now that it's gotten so popular in the culture, one of the things that's in vogue about keto within the mainstream is not talking about it in a positive light, but to rag on it. Oh, well, these are all the bad things that happen when you go keto. You'll have halitosis. And of course, the average everyday person doesn't mean doesn't know that that just means bad breath. Um, you'll have leg cramps. You'll have uh, kidney will explode. You know, and they, they go all of this kind of dramatic exaggeration of things that could be handled if you do keto well. And yet... They put it out there like those things are the norm, like those are the things that happen to everybody who ever eats a ketogenic diet. And so I really find it fascinating from the perspective of vegans talking about diet, because a lot of the vegans that I talk to and have heard speaking, they are vehement against meat, not just for themselves, but for you too. And they're like, oh, nobody should be eating meat. And if you eat meat, you're a murderer. And if you eat meat, you're going to have heart disease and keel over. And then they mock you. And I don't see that near as much from the real food and, and paleo and keto side of things. Most of us are pretty reasonable knowing that there are different strokes for different folks when it comes to diet. And perhaps... For some people, a plant-based, a more plant-based kind of vegan vegetarian style diet helps people. We're all about helping people find what works for them. And if that way of eating works for you, go for it. There's definitely no judgment on my part if you choose to do it in that way. Now, I would always give the caveat, well, if you're going to eat that way, make sure you're getting healthy fats in there. You're minimizing the carbohydrates just so you don't uh, mess with your blood sugar dysregulation. But other than that, I, I think I would support you in that. And yet we never see that reciprocated back from someone who eats a plant-based diet. Most of those people don't want you to eat, eat meat at all uh, and even eggs or anything like that. Um, so it's just it's a sad commentary on where we are in this community of nutritional health that there are people who feel like their diet is the diet. And if their diet's the diet, everybody should be doing the diet that they think you should be doing. And that's just wrong. I know I'm the keto guy, the low carb guy. I've been out there for many years uh, with the brand Living La Vida Low Carb. I've written several books about ketogenic diets. So everybody assumes that I believe that everybody needs to eat a low carb ketogenic diet. Shocker. No, I don't. No, I don't. People that follow my work know that I'm all about people finding what works for them as long as it's giving them health results and then to keep doing that for the rest of their life. If it's giving them health results, why would anybody argue about that way of eating? So, Jimmy Rants today. Find the diet that works for you and then mind your own business. All right, let me see what you guys have to say here. And yes, I got a little bit of sun in my eyes. Sorry about that. What's up? What's up? So, uh, hey, Ken Barry. Hey, Lauren. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you, Scott, for that. All right. A lot of, a lot of amens and preach -its. Let's see uh, any commentary. Ashton says, as a former vegan, it was hard to adjust to eating meat again, but knowing what benefits keto has given me, uh, I will be staying on keto. And see, that's the thing. You're getting benefit from keto. Despite all the propaganda that you uh, got from the vegan community over the years, you've decided, there we go, put the little blinder on. Uh, you decided that keto would work for you and, and it is working for you. So good job. Uh, let's see. Barbie Spark says, I'm two months in on keto today. 27.7 pounds lost. I love it's 27.7, not 27, not 28, 
27.7. Because I'm tracking that bad boy. I would encourage you, Barbie, to also track some health markers because those are even more exciting than the weight you'll find out someday uh, as you go along in this. Uh, Keto Neogenesis says that's the caveat. If it's giving them results, it will. But when it doesn't, they start asking. So yes, that's the other thing. When people come to you and tell you all the things you've done wrong in your diet, watch because turnabout will be fair play. At some point, they will come to you. And I've seen this happen again and again and again over the years. I remember I first started blogging in 2005 and there was a guy that used to rail against me for talking about low carb diets. Oh, that's just gonna harm people. Everybody knows you need carbs for this and this and this. And it was about three years ago, this guy wrote to me sheepishly and said, dang it, Jimmy, you were right. You were right. And I should have listened to you. Uh, and now he is following more of a lower carb style diet. And I think there's, there's no judgment that needs to be put in place there. We are all on this journey. And the journey isn't just on the diet itself. The journey is getting to it. And the journey is in the understanding and the why of doing a diet like keto, for example. So once you have understanding that there are different ways that people get to health, then you're not judgmental. Then then you can mind your own business because everybody's doing the diet uh, that would be right for them. Now, obviously, if someone's not getting results and they're struggling and they're searching for answers, that's when you can step in and say, well, here's something that you can try. But I would never couch it in, well, you should be keto and you should have been keto all along. How dare you? You know, that that's that's not the right way to present this. They start asking in tiny increments of wanting knowledge. This may take years. Uh, it'll never happen if we push them exactly. And I've seen this in my own family, Christine's family. She has a cousin who had a heart attack. First thing he did was he sent a Facebook message to Jimmy Moore. And he said, tell me more about this keto thing. I just had a heart attack. So they know where to go if you're loving to them in the meantime. Uh, she had another cousin on her side of the family um, who was just interested in, in being generally healthy. Uh, she's right around 40 years old. And so she wanted to start eating and being healthier and was very interested in keto. So we're helping them out. But for many years, those same people kind of mocked our choices about how we ate. Um, and that's cool. You know, you just, you, you endure that. They choose to make that uh, decision to do that. Um, but you keep shining. All right. Farmers for Life 77. I've done many different diets. The keto way of eating is by far the best for me. I love my bacon, eggs, and cheese. And yeah, um, that's the beautiful thing about making these choices. You find the ones that work for you. And you found bacon, eggs, and cheese work for you. And it really is a pleasurable way to eat. That's why I love keto so much is I never, ever, ever since I've been keto have felt like I've been on a diet. To me, because of my past with low fat diets pretty, pretty much every year, uh, every time I tried to lose weight, low fat diets were undesirable, nasty tasting food that was bland. I was always hungry. I was always irritable. That to me is the image I have in my head of dieting. I've never had any of that, any of that since I've gone keto. Carb nerd, I love that name by the way. Keto changed my life. My wife and I lost over 200 pounds together. Now we're spreading the word and trying to help everybody we can. Keto Clarity was the first keto book I read. Thanks, Jimmy. Thank you, Carb Nerd. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and I think that's the other key in all of this as well uh, about finding the diet that's right for you. Read a lot of books, you know, pick up Keto Clarity. If you're interested in ketogenic diets, you want to learn how to kind of do it, find a book. Um, I think sometimes people dive into some chosen diet and they're just kind of willy-nilly walking themselves through it from what they've extrapolated from information online, not realizing there's actually really good resources out there that could teach them about how to do any given chosen diet plan. Uh, ketoned mommy need to find a doctor that supports keto. My husband's LDL was 204 and his doctor told him to get off keto. Um, that doctor is a turd ball. Um, 
And I wrote a book about cholesterol, by the way, called Cholesterol Clarity, What the HDL is Wrong with My Numbers. Go check it out. It's on Amazon.com. Some bookstores have it, but Amazon definitely has it. Uh, we have it in hardback, Kindle, as well as audiobook. I read the audiobook. But we had 27 uh, professionals that are all experts in cholesterol that I quote all throughout that book. Um, and definitely LDL by itself as a cardiovascular risk marker is not a, a uh, number of concern. So go learn more. If you want to find a ketogenic doc, I do have a list of them at ketogenic docs.com, D-O-C-S.com. Did you read the Guardian uh, recent article? What are your thoughts? Yeah, Amy, um, she's referring to where the Guardian is a UK newspaper. They came after Dr. Asim Mahaltra. He's a ketogenic cardiologist there who's very outspoken in the media about low-carb, high-fat diets. Um, yeah, it was propaganda. I mean, those guys, they're, they had it in for uh, Dr. Mahaltra. Um and, you know, he, he's not going to sit back idly and take that. So watch what happens in the coming days. But yeah, that's all it was. It was a hit piece. All right, guys, that is it for this Jimmy Rants. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode, talking all about find the diet that works for you and then mind your own business. Um, and hopefully this is good information for you because as you see people out there giving their friendly advice, you can, uh, you can basically see what I've been talking about here today in action. And I know you see it all the time, uh, but maybe it's a gentle reminder to them. Perhaps one of them will see this and go, oh crap, that's me. And so we got to be kind and loving towards each other because I think at the end of the day, that's how we're going to reach more people with our message anyway. And it's the message that's going to help heal their bodies and give them that optimal health that they've been looking for. That's it, guys, for Jimmy Rants. Head on over to JimmyRants.com. Thanks for watching live here on Instagram or on the replay on Instagram or on the YouTube channel where we're putting all of these rants, JimmyRants.com. And coming very soon, my web guy, he showed me the prototype for the website that's going to have uh, the, the little podcast snippet. Uh, we're going to do daily podcast with snippets from these Jimmy Rants Oh, guys, it's going to be good. So I can't wait to share that with you real soon. So until the next Jimmy Rants, we'll see you then.